Welcome to Cerner Power Chart iView Charting. This set of modules will introduce you to charting within Cerner Power Chart utilizing the interactive or iView band. In this first session, we'll take a look at the structure and format of iView. Please note the module may be paused or restarted at any time using the controls located here. iView is an existing part of Power Chart located in the menu under iView slash INO. You are likely already familiar with the intake and output functionality of this section of the chart. iView is an additional feature and allows for charting data in a clear, easy to navigate manner, in addition to reviewing, modifying, and managing results as needed directly from the flow sheet. Let's take a look at iView. First, click on the iView slash INO tab on the menu. There are three main sections to the iView, the navigator, the view window, and the filter window. This left side of the screen is the navigator column. It's made up of a number of bands and sections. Here are the bands. Underneath each band you'll find sections. The sections allow you to quickly move to specific areas of the flow sheet for charting or viewing and managing results. More information about customizing bands will be made available to you in handout form. Navigating between bands and between sections is easy and is simply done by clicking on them in the navigator. Now let's look more closely at the sections underneath the med surge band. First, notice how some of the sections are highlighted in a deeper blue color. This indicates that these sections are currently visible in the view window. The section highlighted in the darkest blue is the currently selected section and appears at the top of the view window. Sections without this highlighting are available for view but will not display in the view window until selected. The view window is used to actually add, modify, unchart, and work with the results. It is the area where you can see documentation on the patient no matter who created it. The view window is made up of several components time scale, sections and subsections, units of measure, calculations, and conditional logic. We'll look at these components in detail later in the module. The filter window is used as a quick way to search for specific results with similar characteristics such as critical values. As in other areas of Power Chart, you have the ability to personalize some aspects of the iView screen to your preferences. To allow for maximal size of the view window, you may choose to collapse the navigator column. To do this, click on this icon. Try this now to see the resulting appearance of the screen. Now click the icon again so the navigator column reappears. Additionally, you may personalize the size of the three windows. This may be done by hovering the mouse in the space between the windows you'd like to adjust until you see a double line with arrows on either side, then holding down the left mouse button while dragging the window to adjust. Similar to other pages within Power Chart, the iView page has a date time filter that may be changed. The default setting will display the last 24 hours in the window, but this may be adjusted by either right-clicking on the filter or by clicking the arrows on either side of the filter to adjust. This concludes the first module in the series. Please refer to your scenario sheet for instructions on practicing with iView before proceeding to the next module.